April 1st, and there's no fooling. The short shorts, swimsuits, and summer dresses will soon come out from the back of the closet. But are you still struggling with your weight loss goals? Well, don't panic. It's not too late to get your body swimsuit ready. We're joined now by board-certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Ramsey Shokare, and he knows what you can do to look Fab by summer. Ramsey, how are you? Good morning. Thank Good you. Good morning. Okay, let's talk a little bit about getting swimsuit ready. Okay. How much can you accomplish with just diet and exercise? Well, for those individuals who are fortunate enough to be near their ideal weight, you know, just maximizing your exercise and watching what you eat can really accomplish most of what they want. I mean, they're not likely to be frustrated by just diet and exercise, but the majority of patients that you see in a plastic surgery practice come in with this scenario. You know, I'm I've had two wonderful children, I'm in my 40s, I work out all the time, I watch what I eat, and I used to wear a four, and now I can barely wear an eight. Mm -hmm. And that frustration from hormonal and metabolic changes and those things are what lead them to seek other options. Okay, before you seek other options, should you be at your ideal weight before you go to cosmetic procedures? I mean, it's always best, it makes you feel like at least you're not selling out and doing it too soon, but the reality is many patients are not at ideal weight, but we certainly encourage it. Some of us want to just sell out though, Dr. Ramsey. Some of us true. just want to say forget it and go to plastic surgery okay there are surgical options uh, non-surgical options right there are there are a whole host of new lasers that that focus on radio frequency uh, to you know melt the fat so to speak mm -hmm. diminish the fat without any surgery and there's one that's very popularized called mesotherapy or injection lipo lipolysis yeah, I've heard about that. I'm not much of a fan of this because it's not FDA approved and what it is basically is you take little volumes of medication and vitamins and minerals and you inject them underneath the skin hoping to dissolve the fat I mean you can almost envision an analogy of a snow drift trying to drip a little water hot water droplets to melt it takes a long time yeah. doesn't work as effectively patients typically find minimal, minimal improvements in general and they get frustrated against yeah. they seek the next step mm -hmm. okay so what are those advantages and disadvantages of those non-surgical procedures I mean primarily they're you know they're in a spa or non-threatening environment mm -hmm. and uh, they typically are quite interesting because they're new and technologically advanced but again the downside is they don't typically have the results most patients expect And you're investing time and money in that can be so frustrating when you're above. not getting the results. Okay, exactly. well, let's talk about contouring your body. What are our options there? Well, you know, the reason people go to the next step is because plastic surgery options typically deliver on the expectations that the patients have. And, uh, you know, the statistics are that liposuction, breast augmentation, and abdominoplasty are successful, safe, and reach a patient's goals. Okay, and what are we seeing here? Like we're seeing all four procedures and the amount of procedures that are done in 2007? Right. The American Society of Aesthetic Plastic Surgery just came out with our statistics for last year by board certified plastic surgeons. And these are the numbers across the country by board certified plastic surgeons the procedures performed in order okay and is it possible to reshape someone's body can you really make a difference with these procedures as far as contouring and reshaping goes well you can and that's the reason they're still popular because you can tangibly make a difference that's a permanent change doesn't mean you're going to always stay the size you are right after yeah. surgery but you're certainly going to permanently change and that's what leads people to do these procedures okay and it's drastic results we want to have that before we get swimsuit ready you brought with you some pictures and before and after <laughs> so we can see this for ourselves what uh what they look like what is right. this procedure that uh this man had well, this is a gentleman who uh, has, you know, done as much as he can do. This is hereditary changes. You know, the men typically have the area around the waist we affectionately or lovingly call the, the love, love handles. handles. And this gentleman had liposuction of his abdomen That's to, pretty drastic. to change the... It is. And, and these are the kind of results that patients typically get with plastic surgery that the other options don't typically okay. He must have been really happy after that procedure. He that, was pleased. That's really good. And motivated to work out, believe it or not, because mm. now he can see changes elsewhere. Yeah, I would say that one follows the other because you want to maintain this great new look that you've invested time and money into, and you like the way it looks, you want to keep it. So we're seeing the they love do. handles from the back there too. Right. Okay, how about here? And uh, this lady's had a abdominoplasty where the abdominal skin and the lower abdomen and the muscles that have been loosened from, from, uh, from pregnancy have been tightened. Okay. That's a tummy tuck. That's correct. All right. Um, how do you find a board certified specialist like yourself? I mean, you know, there are many practitioners who, who perform plastic surgery that aren't trained in plastic surgery. If you want to make sure they're trained in plastic surgery, you know, go to the website surgery.org. Mm -hmm. All those surgeons that are members of the Aesthetic Society are board certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery. Okay. Dr. Ramsey Showcare, thank you so much for showing us these before and after pictures, helping us get swimsuit ready. Thank and you. remember, you can learn more information about your cosmetic options. Just check out Dr. Showcare's website at DR cplasticsurgery.com or call 214-754-9001. Up next, how your spring cleaning can help out a local charitable cause.